For the first time, the high school football championships were a triple header at Aloha Stadium. But because yesterday's first game went into seven overtimes, the last game between Kahuku and St. Louis didn't end until one o'clock this morning. Sarah Madison talked with parents and organizers and joined us with more. Sarah? Kathy, we called the Hawaii High School Athletic Association, and the executive director tells us finishing the state championships as late as it did is a concern. But in sports, there are factors that make games run late. Chris Chun of HHSAA tells us the football committee scheduled a triple header as they looked at venue availability, minimizing missed classes, and maximizing exposure for all student athletes. In light of Saturday's game, we asked if the association was reevaluating a triple header for next season. In a statement, Chun says the football committee will continue to look at how we conduct championships in the future and explore ways to deliver the same experience without compromising safety of players and supporters. Definitely one of the most exciting games I've been to in my life. Don Quinn, father of St. Louis receiver Mitchell Quinn, says he does not believe the delay threw off the players. I think that throughout the year, um, the coaches conditioned the kids. Um, they prepare them for all kinds of adjustments. The Division II championship was unprecedented with not one but seven overtime periods. Quinn was waiting with family and friends to see his son play in the open division. We're like, okay, um, you know, we're, we're going to be a while. So next season, do you think the uh, association ha should have a triple header? Um, I don't. And because um, those things can happen. Uh, nobody wants to go home at 1.30 at night. We've spent more time in the parking lot than we wanted to. Um, but uh, it was worth it. We have more highlights on the state championship with Rob DeMello later in sports. Kathy, back to you.